Yesterday, we announced stringent measures in Nairobi's Isli Estate and Old Town Mombasa in a bid to curb the rising numbers of those testing positive for coronavirus. We are aware that the measures may cause some inconveniences, but we are appealing to you all for understanding. These directives are aimed at protecting all of us. We have observed that arising from the directives, some people have decided to sneak out of these areas and to relocate to the neighboring estates. Let me caution that this move is counterproductive and dangerous. This is because if you happen to be infected unknowingly, then you have just transferred the problem to another area. What you have done is to promote the spread of the disease in this area that you have relocated to. And I want to address uh, the measures that were taken, particularly in Isli and in Old Town, Mombasa. I want to address my fellow Muslim brethren because they are the majority in these neighborhoods. Indeed, I want to start by wishing them Ramadan Karim. This is the holy month of Ramadan. It is a month of worship. And generally, when things are normal, it is a month that brings people together. But it is also a month that brings the best out of people. And this holy month, everybody strives to do the best that they can be in every way they can. And I want to look at this in the context of the pandemic that we are facing right now. You also know that in extreme difficult times, it is also the time that brings the best out of people. So we have an opportunity here to bring the best out of ourselves on those two fronts of the religion as well as the pandemic itself that faces us. And I want to narrate the hadith about Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, who said, if you hear that there is plague in a land, do not enter it. And if you are in a land and it is visited by plague, do not leave it. That is a, a real hadith that is there. And it is basically the cardinal principle in public health control of contagious diseases. That is infectious diseases spread uh, through community spread. It's the basic principle. It is as if this principle was borrowed from, from the religion. And I want to say that we, if we look at this, it means the measures that have been put in place in these two areas are meant to prevent people, one, from moving out and spreading that, the disease. And remember, this is a disease that is new, that we learn something every day about it. This is not a disease that has clear signs that we can identify who's carrying it or not. It is, it is a silent disease in many ways. We have kept talking about the number of people who are asymptomatic. They do not dis show any signs or symptoms of this disease, yet they are carriers and are shedding the virus. Under such circumstances, it is safe to assume that each and every one of us is infected. If we make that assumption, then we need to adhere to the only weapon that we have of controlling this disease, which is all the measures that we have been talking about. Social distancing, physical distancing, hygiene, wearing your masks, 
keeping to yourself and avoiding gatherings, staying at home when you can do that, those are the only measures that will break the cycle of transmission.